open radio. There you go. Hi there. Uh, today I'll be talking about the Agama car launcher again, but uh, specifically only on this part, uh, which is the Google Voice. Google Voice, yeah. So, in order for you to have this here, I think it's by default it will be installed uh, this way, you know. But the thing is, not everyone wants to use this feature. So, what you can do is go to the settings. Okay. Then, scroll down. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. The quick button, Google Voice Search. You can actually change it to parking time or quick start camera. So, say you're using Google Search, this is how it looks like. Uh, you will see that uh, a mic button over there. But say you want to change it to parking time, you can do that. So, what it will show you that you have already parked at this area for more than 3 minutes okay I don't think that is important but to some maybe they don't use Google search uh, Google voice so this this may be some, something else for them to use so go back to the settings go to the quick button again so you can also change it to quick start camera so what is quick start camera? it shows a camera okay it's a dash cam actually um i have one here but so far i can't connect it to my android because there is some issue on the xiaomi app yeah so what happened is that if i were to click here it should be able to link to my app here so it depends on your apps whether it works or not so i have not set anything yet so just click on it so it won't show anything but it will ask you to find your app button settings yeah so actually can just put in any apps yeah it's just a shortcut actually so I have actually disabled mine so I won't confuse anyone else let's get on with the Google search again sorry Google voice I've been keeping keep saying that wrongly keep Google voice search sorry okay so this is the mic button so once you click on it, it will start listening to you. See? You listen to me. It says listening to you. So anyway, that's wrong. That's not what I want to say. Okay, let's do something, yeah? Open ways. There you go. Open space for me. So let's go back to the home screen let's try something else open YouTube there you go open YouTube's for me so what else can you do basically it just opens up apps whatever you want it yeah or you can ask questions like where am I Yep, this is this is it. They will show you uh, where you are, the map. So you just click on it. You just open up Google Map. And it shows you where you are. Okay. Or you can ask, is there any good restaurant nearby? Here are the listings for good restaurant nearby within two kilometers. There you go. Okay. So these are the things that you can do. Basically, it's just an Android uh, Google Voice search. But the thing is, you know, it could be quite handy at times when you you are you know tied up with your your hands on the steering. You know, you you won't be able to concentrate if you were to you know open up your phone to to do this. So all you can just open music. There you go. It knows, yeah? Let me just stop it. Okay. Open radio. There you go. Pretty good, yeah? 
it knows it knows where is my radio app it knows where is my default mp3 app it's pretty nifty or open chrome Yeah, Chrome is actually the web browser. Um, internet is not so quick here, so yeah, there you go. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. You know what you can do with this thing. Uh, I mean, Google Voice Search. But it's pretty good if you can tell it to open radio and music. But the thing is, if you were to click here. And to tell it what's to do, my as well you just click on the radio or music, right? Or if you if you wanted to open ways, why don't you, why don't you just click here and you why you want to click here and ask it to open an app? I mean sometimes it makes no sense, right? So it's it's actually for you to to uh, search something which is more useful. Yeah. Or you want to do something on uh, which is going through uh, a lot of steps where you can you know make it as a shortcut oh yeah and one more thing you know, some of you might ask you know why I my Google voice search you know doesn't work most important part is that you must have a mic yeah I have a mic here not sure if you can see it see that MIC yeah so make sure you have a mic in your uh, what you call this head unit some of them would have an external mic. Mine is built into this. External mic meaning that you will have another cable where you can actually, you know, uh, link it here so that it's easily being able to to listen to your voice. But mine is built into this, and I I don't have an external um, microphone. So make sure you have that. Once you have that, that only the mute, the head unit will be able to listen to you. Yeah, if you don't. No matter how you say it, you know, it won't be able to understand you because, for example, it doesn't have an ear. Yeah, if it, this guy got no ear, how, how, how is, how is it going to listen to you, right? So, thanks for watching. Um, hope this helps and cheers. Bye.